Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video, welcome back to my channel after a short hiatus because I was on holidays which is actually something that I want to fill you in on later but I am back in the game with a full day of eating and today I'm going to be doing a full day of eating 1900 calories and I actually know that my first recipe is going to be an absolute game changer for a lot of you, a change de jour or de jour, I don't know how to say it in French that is probably completely wrong but yeah let's get into it and actually if you speak another language, let me know how to say game changer in that language and I think I'll pick the best one and I'll use that in my next video. So it is breakfast time and I'm gonna start by adding 200 grams of a white potato cut into little chips onto a frying pan. I'm gonna season with some sea salt and some black pepper and now I'm just gonna let these cook away for about 10 minutes. All right, so 10 minutes have passed. The chips are nice and soft on the inside. And now I'm gonna add in some veg. So I have half of an onion. I have chopped up one red chili and I also have half of a green pepper. Let's add a little bit more sea salt and black pepper into the mix and let it cook away for a few minutes. Next up, I'm gonna add 200 ml of egg whites into the mix. You get these from bulk, handiest things ever. Followed by some smoked paprika. No way I was gonna let this recipe go by and not add it in. And the egg whites are gonna scramble pretty quickly, so I'm just gonna mix everything together. Okay, we are looking really, really good. And lastly, I am gonna crack two eggs on top. Okay, so eggs are looking good, and now I'm just going to cover it with a lid, or in my case, a plate, uh, for a few minutes until they cook on top. Okay, so before we go to my next meal, I actually want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Uh, and as a lot of you probably know, Skillshare is an online learning community with a lot of classes on a wide range of topics uh, like entrepreneurship, like productivity, like freelancing, uh, like optimizing your social media, uh, like video editing, like photography, and the list goes on and on and on forever. And right now I'm actually making my way through a productivity masterclass by Ali Abdel. And it's actually so good. I'm learning a lot. It has definitely exceeded my expectations. Uh, and, you know, he basically talks about ways to remain disciplined and set up your goals in a way where you are not solely relying on motivation. Because, as a lot of you probably know, we rely on motivation a little bit too much. So when, you know, there is a lack of motivation, our goals kind of fall to pieces. And he actually uses the gym and remaining on track with your nutrition as an example throughout. So that's pretty handy. And just in general, you know, I actually think Skillshare is a really, really, you know, which just agrees with me, you know, as a place to learn. Uh, because first of all, there are absolutely no ads, which is great. Secondly, you can actually make little notes at different parts of the class, which I think is really good. Uh, you can see other people's notes. You can interact uh, with other people. You can have a discussion with other people uh, about what you are learning about. And yeah, I just think it's a good place to be if you are looking to improve yourself, you know, in some sense. And if you would actually like to get involved, they are running a special offer at the moment. And when you join, you get a one month free trial. But this offer is only valid for the first 1,000 people uh, that click the link in the description below this video so if you're interested in leveling up seeing what Skillshare is all about uh, then yeah make sure to get on it okay so next up we have a chicken and rice meal and if there's one thing I know about chicken and rice if there's one thing I have learned it's that it does not have to be boring and with the addition of a couple of extra ingredients a couple of extra spices you could actually make it taste 1 million times better but still keep it really quick and really convenient so I'm gonna start by adding 150 grams of chicken breast to a bowl I'm gonna spray it with some one calorie spray then I'm gonna add 60 grams of fat-free natural yogurt into the mix some sea salt, some black pepper, some mixed herbs, some smoked paprika. Then I'm just going to mix that all in. All right, so you can let your chicken marinate in the sauce for 15, 20 minutes if you want, and then uh, add it to the frying pan on a hot heat. And you want to let it cook away for about eight minutes on either side approximately. Let's make sure we're missing out on none of that sauce. 
All right, so the chicken is looking nice and crispy and there's about eight minutes left, so I am going to add some stir fry mixed veg to the pan. If you are making this yourself, you can of course just chop up your own veg, but I like this one from Super Value. Let's add some seasoning into the mix. So sea salt, black pepper, some mixed herbs. And as the chicken and the veg cooks away for the final few minutes, I'm gonna get the rice ready. So I'm gonna use one bag of this cauliflower rice, 160 grams and only 29 calories. And I'm gonna use half a bag of this spicy Mexican whole grain microwavable rice as well. So the cauliflower rice is going to add the volume and the spicy rice is going to add the flavor. Okay, let's serve this baby up. So we have the rice. Cauliflower rice is an absolute game changer. You literally over double the amount for 29 calories. Next up comes the stir fry veg. And last but not least, we have the chicken, which is looking so juicy. Alright, so one thing that I always say about volume eating is that not every single meal you eat has to be high in volume. I think that would be extremely stressful to be honest. But you know, if you strike a pretty good balance throughout the day, so for example, if you have a pretty high volume breakfast, if you have a normal sized lunch because maybe you're just not arsed or you're on the go and you need to grab something quick and then you have a dinner that's pretty high in volume. I think that's a really good balance to strike because you know you are experiencing most of the benefits of volume eating in terms of feeling full and satisfied on lower calories but at the same time you know you still have that flexibility in your diet and you don't feel pressured to maximize the volume in every single meal and every single snack uh, that you are eating. Okay so before we go to my next meal I actually want to chat a little bit about my holidays so uh, I am not long back from a week holiday in Ibiza. I went with Rachel and a few of our friends uh, and yeah I just had an absolute blast to be honest. I ate a little bit too much, drank a little bit too much uh, didn't really train whatsoever. Well, I got two quick full body sessions in, but they were mainly just for the psychological aspect of just training in general, how it makes you feel. Uh, and yeah, it was just a complete chill out period on my behalf. Uh, and as a result, I definitely came home in worse shape than I went away in. Like I didn't lose any muscle, uh, but I did gain some weight. And yeah, the vast majority of that was definitely fat. But to be honest, you know, I'm completely okay with that. And it's actually something that I want to normalize because you know, if you're working hard all year in work or in school and with your gym sessions, with your nutrition, and you book a holiday and then over there, you're thinking about, okay, how can I remain on track with my calories? How can I get all of my gym sessions in? Then that's not really much of a holiday, to be honest. Like nobody books a holiday for that reason. So yeah, like if you have a holiday coming up, a weekend away, a trip away or whatever, I think it's important that you are just comfortable, you know, with the fact that for those few days or for however long you're gonna go away and that you're gonna let your training and your nutrition take the back seat slightly. Because honestly, you know, when you look back on that holiday in a year's time, in two years time, in 10 years time, are you actually gonna remember the days that you remained on track with your macros on holidays? Or are you actually gonna remember the days that you just had a blast? Maybe you ate a delicious meal that nowhere near fit your macros. Maybe you got way drunker than you should have with your mates. And obviously, you know, this isn't a healthy attitude to have year round, but you know, if you're breaking your routine every now and again, if you're doing something outside of the norm and you are having a blast whilst doing so, you know, that's just all part of life, in my opinion. But yeah, comment below and let me know what you think. Like, are you somebody that probably does need to relax a little bit more on holidays? Are you always stressing about training and nutrition? Uh, or yeah, how do you approach it? But yeah, let's go to my next meal. All right, so I'm gonna start by adding 40 grams of whole wheat pasta to a pot of boiling salted water. And while that is cooking away, I'm gonna add 100 grams of chicken breast pieces to a pan. I'm gonna season with some sea salt, some black pepper, some garlic, and some Cajun. Then I'm gonna add 170 grams of tender stem broccoli to the other side. And I'm gonna let the chicken and the tender stem broccoli cook away uh, for a few minutes. Oh, and the chicken will be done before the broccoli in most cases, so don't be afraid to take the chicken off, spread the broccoli out, uh, and add some garlic into the mix. Okay, so the pasta, the chicken, and the broccoli is good to go, so I'm just gonna leave these to one side in the same pot. All right, so now for the sauce, I have the frying pan on a very low heat. I'm gonna add 20 grams of floor light in, which is just a light spread. That is gonna be followed by 20 grams of plain flour. Then you just need to mix these in until it forms a bit of a saucy, paste-like consistency. Then I'm gonna add in 100 ml of low-fat milk, some Cajun seasoning. Let's mix 
mixed it up again. All right, so everything is mixed thoroughly and next in goes 15 grams of 30% less fat cheese. Let's mix this in until it melts. All right, so we are looking so good and if it gets a little bit too thick, don't be afraid to add some water, but that looks delicious. And now let's add the sauce to the pasta chicken and veg. You can do this in the pot, you can do it on the pan, whatever is easier. Let's mix everything together. All right, so we are all plated up as you can see. And if you are feeling extra cheeky, which of course you are, sprinkle 15 grams of 30% less fat cheese over the top. And then you can just give it a blast in the oven or the microwave if you are impatient until the cheese melts on top. And as you can see, that is what I have done. Okay, so I can 100% confidently say that this is up there with one of the best pasta dishes I have ever made. It is so good. It is the sauce that really stands out. The sauce is next level. Uh, I'm a big fan of tender stem broccoli as well. If you don't like broccoli, then this obviously isn't for you, which is a bit shit. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of struggling to come up with a name for it, to be honest, just because there are so many different components. But I think I'm gonna go for Cajun mac and cheese pasta. I think that's the kind of vibe of this. Okay, so it is time for the grand finale. And it is going to be a protein brownie bowl. And I know the protein brownie bowl is so overdone. They typically taste like shit, but this one is so good. This one is sexy. If I saw this brownie bowl and I was a brownie bowl in a club, Ray should be in trouble, that's all I'm saying. All right, so this is quick and easy, and I'm gonna start by adding 30 grams of double chocolate informed whey protein from bulk into a bowl. I'm gonna add 50 ml of egg whites into the mix, 10 grams of coconut flour, and yes, for this recipe, it does need to be coconut flour, 15 grams of cocoa powder that I store in this little jar, handy little thing. I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweetener, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Let's give it a mix. And I always really wanna lick the spoon here, but then I remember there's egg whites, and I'm like, uh, Probably shouldn't do that. All right, so looking good, nice and smooth, nice and chocolatey. Then I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about one minute and 30 seconds. This is how we are looking. Then as the toppings, I'm gonna add 100 grams of vanilla fat-free yogurt and 100 grams of frozen mixed berries that I have heated up for just like 30 seconds or so, so they are not completely frozen. All right, everyone, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you comment below and let me know, and let me know what recipe you are 100% definitely making. So is it the egg and potato breakfast? Is it the chicken and rice? Is it the Cajun uh, mac and cheese pasta? Or is it the protein brownie bowl? And while you're at it, I would really appreciate it if you gave the video a big thumbs up, and if you have not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. The channel is actually starting to build a little bit of momentum. We are growing quicker and quicker. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all keeping well, uh, and I will see you in the next video.